This lecture will focus on the operators in programming languages and also you will learn about operators in PHP. Now before digging in there are three basic concepts. First one is brackets and you can see the symbol of brackets. Then we have the parentheses. This is the symbol of parentheses. Then we have curly braces. All of them are different and used for different purposes. So for our demo, we use brackets while writing arrays. We use parentheses while writing functions and conditions. We use curly braces while writing the statement for the if condition and for loop. So like in mathematics, the operator precedence is also matter in PHP. Parentheses got higher precedence than multiply and division and multiply and division got the higher precedence on plus and minus. Now here are some operators. First we got assignment operator which we use to assign value into variable or constant. After that we got equality operator which we use in writing conditions. Then we got strictly equal operator and we use it when we have to be certain according to strict condition. Then we got not equal operator. Then we got not operator. Then less than or equal to. Then greater than or equal to. Now here are some comparison operator in real environment. So you can use the equality operator in your if condition. You can also use not equal in your if condition. You can see the strictly equal operator in your if condition when you have to make sure whether one thing is strictly equal to other thing or not. You can also use greater than, less than, greater than, equal to or less than or equal to operator in your if condition. Then we got the logical operators. We have two logical operators. First one is and operator which only work when the two conditions are true. So if A is equal is equal to B and C is equal is equal to D, then we are going to process the if condition. And for the notation of and operator, we use double and sign. You can see it on the red color. Then we have OR operator. It's also the logical operator. So we use OR operator when we have to choose one thing between two. So we can say that if A is equal equal to B or C is equal is equal to D, then you should process this code. Means we are going to process the statements of our if condition in case if any of the scenario is true. If it is A is equal to B or C is equal to D. And the notation of this OR operator is the pipe symbol. You can also see it in the red color. Now the precedence for the operator is also do matter. So first of all, if you apply the precedence, then the inner parentheses are going to execute first. First, this green precedence A is equal is equal to B and C is equal is equal to D is going to process. Then this whole yellow is going to be process. So first we will run this individually. Then we will come to this AND operator to see the whole result. Now we got the modulus operator. Modulus operator is a bit more simple. For example, if you have a variable and you want to get the remainder, then you can use the modulus operator. And modulus operator represent by percentage sign. So modulus operator is going to give you the remainder. We have increment and decrement. For example, if you want to add some value in your variable of A, you can add it simply by adding plus one in it, or you can write it one more way by using A plus is equal to one. It also the same as A is equal to A plus one. No difference at all. Then you can do prefix and postfix of increment in your variable also. We will see it in a moment. The decrement is also the same but with the negative value to decrease the value and increment is for increasing the value. Now 
in the increment and decrement process first of all let's see this prefix for example you have variable a is equal to 5 and if you echo plus plus your variable of a then the output will be the 6 because you can think of first plus as 1 so it's going to add in our variable of dollar a so the result will be 6 now in case if you do one more time echo then your resultant will be 7 so this is prefix increment now in the post fix increment for example you have the same variable of a is equal to 5 and if you do post fix increment means put two plus signs right after your variable then on the first resultant the result will be the same as what you got before then if you do one more echo your resultant will be 6 so in prefix we add the 1 while starting our process however in the post fix we start the increment process in the second stage that's why you can feel the difference by looking at the slide now we also have the ternary operator for example in case if you have two variable a is equal to 10 and b is equal to 15 and if i ask you tell me which variable is greater than the other then you can simply write one if condition if a greater than b then you should process this block of code and say that a is greater than b in the resultant result variable or else you can say that b is greater than a now this whole if condition is quite large now by using the ternary operator you can decrease your statements so first of all in the ternary operator you will write your variable of result in which you are going to save your result then you can say that result is equal to dollar a greater than dollar b then question mark will represent your if condition and if a is greater than b then you should say that a is greater than b or else the else code will be after the colon b is greater than a it's same like the if condition but you can write it in one line so these are the famous operators in php which you will see all the times while writing and learning about php